In this video, I'll try to make the transistor concept simple to folks who may have been confused with the whole thing. So a transistor is that black looking rectangle that you see in this uh, picture with uh, three things joined together. One N semiconductor, a P semiconductor, and another N semiconductor. So those three things are stuck together and you have three wires jetting out below. Each of those wires is connected to N, P, and N. Those wires are good conductors. It's only the black thing which is the semiconductor. Now you start connecting batteries. So take any one N and connect it to the negative of a battery. That's easy to remember, N for negative. The moment you connect one N to a negative, that side, that terminal, becomes the emitter of the transistor. And I know it's very easy to get confused with which side is the emitter and which side is the collector. Moment you fix the emitter, then the other terminal, the other N terminal, should be connected to the positive of a battery. And that side will become the collector. Now that you have fixed the emitter and collector, you're left with a central wire, which is the base. In this particular video, we are not discussing the circuit diagram of the transistor. We're only going to talk about the symbols for a transistor. And this much of knowledge is enough to absorb the concept of the symbols of a transistor. Now we look at a 2D representation. In 2D, you have one N, one P, and another N with their wires coming out. So as I said previously, any one side, any one of those ends can be an emitter and a collector. It depends on how we connect it to the batteries. Now we come to the symbol of an NPN transistor and how to write that correctly in a circuit. So the symbol is basically a white circle with black lines inside it. You can see that N, P, and N are represented by three wires, as we saw before. The central wire is the P, which is coming out on the center of that circle towards the left. That's clear. And then there are the other two wires, which can be confusing. One wire connects the N semiconductor to the base, and the other wire, with an arrow, is again connecting the base to the N part of the semiconductor, of the transistor. Now, how do we fix the symbol of the arrow? It can be very confusing, so let's look at it carefully. The first thing to do, as we did in the animation, is to fix the emitter. The emitter is the one where we connected the N part to the negative side of the battery terminal, so that's below. Automatically, the upper portion becomes a collector, and we have to connect that N to the positive terminal of the battery. When that happens, the current will flow from positive of the battery towards the negative of the battery, always. Therefore, the direction of the arrow from the base to the emitter in this case, from P to N, you can see is pointing outwards in the general direction of the current flow. And there is no confusion if we do it this way. Now in some circuits, you will see the emitter on the top and the collector on the bottom, or left and right. And we don't get confused. We simply check where the N of the transistor is connected to the negative terminal of the battery, N to negative, and that side must be the emitter. And therefore, the collector is also fixed, and the collector part must be connected to the positive terminal of the battery. Having said that, the current will, of course, again flow from the positive of the battery towards the negative terminal of the battery on the emitter side. So the current is flowing from collector to emitter, like the yellow arrow uh, in the small anim animation. And therefore, the direction of the arrow inside that transistor symbol from P to N is pointing outwards at an angle in such a way as to indicate that it's in the direction of the general current flow. So whether the emitter is on the left or the right or the top or the bottom, we don't get confused with the symbol of the transistor. Now we look at a PNP transistor. In a PNP, one terminal is P, and to fix the emitter, we connect it to the positive of a battery. So positive starts with P and P is P. So when you have two P's, that's the emitter. Once the emitter is fixed, the other end of the transistor has to be a collector. And you connect that P terminal to the negative of a battery. Once you do that, you have established the direction of the current from the positive of the battery 
towards the negative of the battery, which is normal, the violet arrow. Therefore, inside that transistor circle, talking of symbol, the arrow from P to the base of the transistor is pointing inwards. And you can see that the direction of the arrow indicates the general direction of the current flow through the transistor. And you can see a small animation which shows that. So the basic thing here in a PNP transistor is to just establish the correct connection for the emitter. Now here is another circuit showing a different position of emitter and collector. And this should not cause any confusion for us. We will first look at which side is the emitter. So the side where the PNP transistors P semiconductor is connected to the positive side of a battery, that must be the emitter. And automatically the other end of the transistor becomes the collector and we connect that P to the negative terminal of a battery. Once we do that, the current flows is automatically established between the positive of battery towards the negative of a battery. And therefore the symbol inside the transistor circle is from P to N pointing inwards. You can see the one on the bottom, the arrow inside the symbol is in the direction of the current flow. So we are not confused. Thanks and have a great day.